Ladies and gentlemen, and people who have wandered in from the Chinese wedding next door, welcome to the roast of Peter Griffin with your roast master, Glenn Quagmire. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Joe, I'd tell you to take your seat, but I'd be about 15 years too late. <laughs> <laughs> and we're off. Well, what can I say about the man of the hour? Peter Griffin. Oh, boy, here it comes. Well, first off, Peter's always been special. In high school, he didn't play sports, but he did wear a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's kind of funny. Tough but fair. Everybody, family meeting. There's too much passing gas in this house. So from now on, anytime you gotta cut one, you pull your pants down and you do it through this fart hole. Are you insane? Oh, it's, it's okay. It's all a trick. As soon as Brian does it, I'm gonna be on the other side and I'll stick the suppository in. No, absolutely not. I am not living like this. You think Morgan Fairchild has a fart hole in her house? Morgan, the cuckoo van is divine. But so rich. Will you excuse me? Where do our Hollywood farts go? I've heard they're filtered into Tom Sizemore's house. <laughs> Morgan. Ah, hell, we're gonna be on the internet. You know what? Screw it. Let's vote! Mayor West, after working with you for some time now, I believe you are affecting your weird behaviors. You are doing deliberately odd things to mask dark, maybe even criminal activities. You are 100% aware of what you're doing. I think you're a dangerous sociopath. Cleveland, let me tell you something. You're absolutely right. Well, time to put on my spaghetti hat. I've been thinking, maybe I gotta find friends who can't make fun of my appearance because they're weird looking themselves. Like those two bearded dwarves walking across the street there. Hey, will you bearded dwarves be friends with me? We, sir, are Italian children. Good day. Oh, no Scooby-Doo, huh? <laughs> roll, roll. Oh, it seems we got us a comedy dog. Are you Kathy Griffin? Cause I ain't laughing. So maybe you are Kathy Griffin. Or maybe you're that comedy dog with Robert Smigel's hand up your backside. Well, let me tell you something, comedy dog. You're here for me to poop on. All right, first of all, it seems like you have a lot of opinions about a lot of comedians. And second of all... Oh! That hurts. That's right. Silent and terrible. Like the artist. I watch a lot of TV and movies. I am your media savvy worst nightmare. Now down on all fours like the rest of them. That's right. We got ways to break your spirit. In fact, you seem like a prime candidate for the chair. <laughs> Honey, did you hear a dog scream? Yes, I did, dear. Our summer cabin is near the obedience school. Ugh, I didn't seem too desperate, right? Ugh, don't answer. It's just that Brian's been so distant lately, and, and we used to be inseparable, like Jack and Jill. Well, so then Jack takes these two pails of water and trips and totally falls down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got a funny story. Jill had a tooth fall out, and she swallowed it, and then we had to root through her feces to find it. And we did. And then we took it to the dentist and he put it back in her mouth. So I guess we're both klutzes, huh? Why don't you spin another tail, crap tooth? No? My turn again? Okay. Jill's barren. Hey, so what's your afternoon like? I don't have plans. Maybe we could grab lunch and then see what happens. Ugh. This will not end well. Like eating an artichoke. Good lord. I ate nothing and I'm soaking wet for some reason. <laughs> Another good postal tip is if you wait to deliver your mail at night, you can smell a lot of really nice dinners. Oh no, it's that Amazon drone. Try to ignore it. Hey Cleveland, what are you doing? Taking a walk? No, I'm delivering mail. By foot? Yeah, that won't take too long. Well, gotta go. Gotta deliver these fat pants to your fat son.
He was harsh, but not untruthful. We got a special order Cleveland Junior's pants from a company that manufactures grill covers. Hey, you guys noticed how many Asians there are at this school? I mean, how'd they all get so smart? I don't know. Guess that's just the way God made them. Gentlemen, I give you the Asian. Ooh! Compact, hairless, and fiercely intelligent. The penises, while tiny, are extremely efficient. We're projecting 10 billion within five years. Also, there'll be different varieties that will all hate each other for some reason. Do they eat just, like, regular food? <laughs> no, 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 the opposite. Hey, you can play over there in the sandbox, honey. Mommy's just gonna read her book. Okay, I'm just gonna walk 30 feet away and then panic because I can't see you. Can you fit me in at 10 tomorrow? It's getting a little long on the sides. Brian? What are you doing on a leash? And who's that? Shh, be cool. This is the guy whose wife I'm banging. Oh, what a romantic way to put it. Yeah, it's great. I just pretend to be their dog, and then when he leaves for work, I get to go to the pound, if you know what I mean. God, Brian, you are such a scumbag. I can't believe you. Mommy! Mommy! Where's my mommy? I have no one and nothing! I'm right here, honey. Oh, thank God. She's such a gross hog. Great, and you fellas shouldn't pull any punches. Just let me have it. Nothing is off limits. Jeez, Peter, you're more excited than Adrian Peterson at an Arboretum. Daddy, what kind of tree is that? Man, I want to beat you with so many things around here. Go away. I never want to talk to you again. God, I should have known it. I feel more betrayed than when I thought that lawyer was going to propose. So you did commit the murder? Uh-huh. And you admit it here in front of everyone? Uh-huh. No further questions, Your Honor. Wait, no further questions? Motion to have the last eight years stricken from the record? I always dreamed of being stuck in an elevator with Tom Brady. That makes two of us. Can I ask you my Tom Brady questions? I wouldn't deign to speak for Tom Brady. Understood, understood. Hey, do atheists go to hell? No. How about people who say they are not religious, but they are spiritual? Straight to hell, to the boiler room of hell, all the way down. Sometimes I pull them out just so they think everything is going to be okay, but then I put them right back in. Good. Good. That makes me happy. I'm going to need you to deliver the baby. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Can, can you wait a second while I put a towel down? I, I don't want anything to get on the seats. Oh, no, of course. Our first priority should be to keep the vinyl clean. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's coming. Oh, can you see the head? I don't know where to look, but maybe you should look at the part of me where there's a baby coming out. Oh, oh, how did Murphy Brown make this look so easy? Careful, don't get anything on the... Seats. Oh, God, I think another one's coming. I don't see it. I think it's coming out of my mouth. Oh, 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 there's more. And they're coming out of everywhere. Oh, kill me. This hurts too much. Holy... What is happening? I don't know. Brian, save the placenta. Do you even have a placenta? But whatever comes out, save it. I want to eat it. Oh, God, they're crawling all over me. How many are there now? Four, five, six, seven? Mazel tov. And, well, Prius Pumpkin from the county fair, that's why I'm naming you my chief of police. Mayor West, there's something you need to see. My God! My wife is seeing another mayor! I'm sorry, sir. Don't be, because I'm going to win her back. I trust you'll take care of things here in my absence. <laughs> Officer Down! Sounds to me like you're a regular Benedict Arnold Drummond. What, what's he expecting us to cut to? Uh, I think he wants maybe, I don't know, Gary Coleman and a Napoleon hat? But we don't have that. We, we gotta come up with something. Uh, well, we got, uh, we got the cowardly lion as Lindsay Lohan's gynecologist. Play it. Play it. But he didn't set it up. Play it! All right. I'm gonna check her for diseases. There's just one thing I want you to do. What's, what's that? that? Talk me out of it. No, 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 no. What the hell is going on up there? I'm sure it was all meant in good fun. Yeah, it was supposed to be fun, but it was humiliating. I felt like a premature volcano. I just think you're a really cool island, and I'd like to get to know... Oh, God! Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. You're just so pretty. Please, don't tell the other islands. All right, you guys, I will now do anything for $10. Who's got something for me? I got one. I'll give you 10 bucks if you wear the same pair of underwear for a month. Pay up. Uh, actually, you owe me 20 Ew. Here's 50. Go change your underwear. It won't come off. Oh, my God. Somebody call 911. Damn it, Fox. That's not an invitation to ruin our moment to expand your media empire. <sighs> 
son of Zorn. Ha! Welcome to Ireland. We'll be landing in five minutes. This is quite a country, Brian. You know, Ireland has more drunks per capita than people. Oh, that's a negative stereotype. I don't think the Irish drink as much as people say they do. 